Happy Monday, Unscripted Logic, episode 10. We're just waiting for Pablo Picasso to get up in here. We are going to hear Pablo Picasso versus the arrow. Pablo Picasso versus the arrow coming up soon. Yeah. 
be on a mission this year. So you the opposition better stay clear. I pop back up after eight years. Bring you max pain and the max case and you can't fear. You beating me, I'm like, wait, where? Making up these lies, y'all are straight weird. So something to make clear. I've been solid as metal since game gear. I got my game gear, so just know, boy, you dead if you came here. Oh, I know. End of the line, end of discussion, ain't wasting no time. Fluent with the rhymes, never stop booming, I'm zooming in my mind. Whole lot of shit this year, when I'm sick of it. Disgusted, but I learned to live with it. Burnt out, burned down like a cigarette. Everything I've loved, now I've got little interest. Stacking money in my bank account. I take a quick trip to take some paper out. When I was 15, I had a paper route. Now I'm grown, bitch, I'm on that paper route. I tell your bitch to come on over, but I ain't hitting that. She got broad shoulders, Colonel Kurtz. Y'all are small soldiers, snakes in the grass, bitch, I'm a lawnmower. I came to rock, so if you was on top, now you're getting knocked over. You can't move me, no, it's getting spooky like dogs over. I raised the bar, we all fools put the bar lower. Like it's limbo, talk to him like I'm big bro. Taking L's in a row like you King Mo. Creep by tiptoe, y'all hit the floor with my disco. Interlude to the skit, so Picasso, unscripted logic that was out the window. Boy, I'm in Oh, just now, I'm about to hit ho like Kimbo with the Kendo stick. Oh, I flip like it's Kimbo. Either way, boy, I stay Major on the salute. tempo. Salute. Cause I'm fresher than some Mentos. I stay down on these ten toes. I'm as solid as a bedpost. I'm the best cause I said so. Get your head cracked and your egg yolk. Read the crime scene like French toast. Uh huh. Y'all know I got the best flows. So I'm all like, boy, let's go. Uh huh. Let's go. Picasso versus Nero tonight. You fucking with me, boy. Freestyle this whole fucking shit. And the chorus. And the same. Salute. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, episode 10 of Unscripted Live. I can't believe we're on episode 10 right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> I, every episode has been super fire. Every single episode. Uh, but tonight, tonight special episode the show always goes on brother the show always goes on the show must go on my friend the show must go on regardless um so we have some announcements we have some some stories and we have pablo's De Niro rounds so um yeah man it's gonna be a great fucking show it's gonna be a great fucking show i'm just waiting for pablo um so you know what's good with y'all man what's good with y'all episode 10 this is crazy this is crazy um one of the announcements i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna wait for because i don't even know if i told him this yet but i think i did i think i did um <clears throat> While you're waiting, while we're waiting, go to Pablo Picasso's channel. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm sure everyone in here already is. Um, since this episode really is all about Pablo, let's hear a little bit more. Let's hear a little bit more. 
My bad, y'all. Pablo's just running a little bit late. And I didn't have anything prepared if he wasn't here. So, <laughs> Oh, shit. Nah, hold on. So I got a verse for this. Not that. I got a verse for this shit. Um, so I have a verse that I'm just about done for this uh, beat right here. Um, so Pablo had the beat and the chorus. I, I mean, the he, he did his verse and the chorus. Um, so I'm going to add a verse to this. Um, it'll drop sometime. But I'm, I, I, should, I, I should be able... I should be able to have it done um, by this weekend, so it should drop with my verse on it this weekend. It ain't just we was praying for better days. We was kids on the corner every morning making quarters off a of lemonade. Say you reap what you sow. I've been slowly investing. We Hold up. Broken and stressing. Hold we up. That fucking chorus. We was praying for better days. We was kids on the corner every morning making quarters off a of lemonade. Fire. Say you reap what you sow. I've been slowly investing. Weak and emotional, broken and stressing. Weak and I've moaned and been so introspective. I've grieved and atoned, had to go through redemption. Reach for the goal without knowing the lessons I needed it the most for I strolled through the entrance. Mean and verbose, grossly offensive. Preached on a post while holding resentment. I was fiend in a roach while I poked at my tendons. Seeing all the lows from the dope I injected. Leaving the cold when I'm lonely and desperate. I'm leaning on some shoulders, grown to regret it. Being on the road so alone and dejected. I cleaned and I rose to the smoke in the wreckage. Peaked and wallowed in self love depression, screamed and yelled low with my own reflection. If you read what I wrote and decode the message, the peace in my soul. That's why I had to get on it. Why I had to my presence, achieving my goals with these bones I collected. Woo! Praying for better days, anxious to get away. We was kids on the corner every morning, making quarters of a lemonade. Babe. Oh, Bye. we were saying just to get away. Praying for better days. We were skidded on the corner every morning, making quarters off of lemonade. And then there's me. That's where I'm at right there. So it's fire. It's fire. The verse I have is so dope. It's 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 my favorite verse I've written in a long time. So I'm excited about it. So that should drop on. I'm not going to give y'all a day, but it should drop by Sunday, I'll say, you know. Um, with this new job, the hours are different every day um, while I'm in training and shit, so it's hard to... But I, I got the verse basically done. Um, <clears throat> I just got to fix up a couple things here and there, clean up some edges, and then um, record it. That's it. That is it. Um, while we're waiting for Pablo, I will say this. Um, so this summer, Pablo and I are going to be focusing so much on on music uh, that we will be able to premiere songs for y'all probably on a weekly basis because or videos uh, because we're going to shoot videos for some of the tracks off of his EP. And also, um, um, oh, we got Pablo in the building. So, yeah, I was just saying real quick. Um, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Um, so, yeah, I was just saying. So this summer, Pablo and I are focusing a lot on music. So we'll be able to, like, premiere shit to y'all before we release it, um, you know, on, on Apple Music and shit like that. Um, so, so this summer, that's our goal is to make as much music as possible with our band unscripted logic. Speaking of which, again, this is unscripted logic episode 10 and we got social assassin and the motherfucking man of the hour, Pablo Picasso, you know what it is, you know what it is. So, um, 
so yeah, man. Uh, I told him I'm gonna I'm gonna I just played uh the bone collector shit. I'm gonna have my verse done by by Sunday, uh, and recorded by by Sunday and have it done. Um, Word. so real quick before we get into this show, you know we gotta do it one time for the one time. like and share this video i know there's only a few people in here but share this video um let people know pablo picasso versus De Niro is gonna go down um very very soon so um real quick just wanted to make an announcement um so <laughs> i wanted to try to get it set up for this episode but i i, I didn't have time to do that but i'm gonna have it set up for for next week's episode we, I'm going to, we're going to have a unscripted logic rumble um, where it's just unscripted logic. Um, we, we are going to be adding another show during the week. Um, we're not 100% sure what day that's going to be yet, probably Friday, but we'll see. It, or it might be a bi-weekly thing. But um, so the rumble channel is going to be solely dedicated to this show. Um, so it'll be streaming simultaneously every Monday on Rumble and YouTube. Pablo, what's good, brother? What's good? What's good? Just got out of the shower. All good, man. All good, chilling. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting over this cold, so. I know. I I when I know. I but, went, uh, when you know, you text me back, I'm a man of my word, so. I said today. I, right. So. Right. On, that's on the, why it's like more to prove a point. You. Yeah, you know? that's why I texted you. To what show, I texted you like, like because I didn't like that shit he was saying in the face of like, oh, all these excuses. It's like, no, that just goes yeah, to I show know, I'll do a battle even when I don't feel good, even when I know I'm not going to be able to perform the best, even when I have a death in the family or I just got out of a coma. I still show the fuck up. You know, and it's like that's especially in battle rap, like crazy. There's that's been times fact. where. The backlash of not showing up maybe last a couple days, and then you can reschedule. And I would would have been able to put on a better performance a week later, and that lives forever. If you go back ten years, like battles I had ten years ago, if you go look now, no one would have gave a fuck that I didn't show up the first time ten years ago. Right, right. It's just the footage lives forever, and I would have performed better. So it's like. That people, the people that don't understand why I had all that energy for De Niro, right? Like, Talk. About listen, it. I I re-listened to that that stream we did. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we were like cracking jokes and bombing on him and shit. But 
I mean, aside from you me being a lot angry, of time whichever, away from your family and away from yeah, work. I felt like but, I explained it perfectly at least like five times. Yeah, in that facts. stream, and I so I don't understand how anyone could actually watch that whole thing and not like I'm not saying you have to agree. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to hate the narrow right, too. But, at but least, to not at least understand, understand where I'm coming from, like yeah. I don't believe you. I don't believe right. that you watched the whole thing and still have questions about why I felt that way. Right. Like, come right. on. Because if you, if you're right, because listen, if you're someone who's never battle rap and never had to prepare for something like a battle or something like that, then you don't know. So, like, when someone yeah, knows, I get shows, it. Been, hold on, like, hold on. Let me there say were... this. Hold on, let okay. me say this. When when someone no shows. It's like, okay, maybe, yes, maybe something happened in real life. Fine. But then when they start talking crazy and then say you pick a day and then you're like, no, whatever day you want. And then they pick another day and then they no show again. Then, then at that point, it's like, fuck you. I don't, don't believe you, yeah. you had a, uh, anything going on the first time because you, you, you no showed again. So so listen it was an accumulation of why, everything. why should so you're supposed to just be cool with him no showing you twice after you spent months preparing for this battle focusing on only De Niro for like two months preparing for this battle yeah like so hold on let, let me say ahead. this so listen i get as fans you're like oh well there was <clears throat> there was other battles on the card so you weren't tripping off one not happening that's fine for you Right, but that's for me. What I, thank you. That's I what wrote, I said. practiced, rehearsed. There's days where my whole family was here. They're all watching a movie, and it's been, instead instead of having like family movie night, I'm in the other room, fucking writing and rehearsing. And yeah, then I heard someone say, it, you know, one battle not happening on the cards not a big deal. It's like yeah, maybe yeah, to you, right? But, but to me, to miss an, another battle. opportunity. Where and a bunch of a, a highly like promoted card, that. where people were actually like everyone was hyped to see it. So now I'm yeah. missing out on that opportunity. And like you said, I was still cool about it. Still very cool, actually. If you just watch the clip Major played, yeah. Even when, listen, I didn't right. know what the situation was, so I wasn't going to speak on it. I was on our show, going, "Oh, has anyone heard from him? Hope everything's good with him." We ended the show, and ten minutes later, I seen him on a panel talking crazy and it's like bro i haven't even heard Absolute anything same, from man. you you had, you didn't reach prayers. out and say sorry Real you quick. couldn't do it or anything the only thing i see from you is you popping right. up talking crazy about i'm ready to go two days from now and i'm like well right. i don't even like I, what what i haven't heard anything from you like you can't just pop up and you start naming days two days from now i'm like i, I gotta look at my schedule i don't even know if i could do that like you know what i'm saying like that that was crazy to me but it's the fact that this is the same person that was bombing on someone else remember seizure was a hoe seizure was a hoe because yeah, he right, couldn't do right. the battle and but when he but gave the you funny months thing is, to, yeah seizure gave you like a month and a half's notice two months notice like and the, was that's like the reason the i took that this battle is so that right. he could still be on the card and you still had like two months to prepare so so him hit the way he bombed on seizure like that is like dude at least he told you in advance you know showed the day of and then Twice. and then i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this when someone has a slogan their slogan is real life trump's battle rap the only reason that's his slogan is so when he fucking isn't prepared, he has a fucking excuse. And then when Facts. when after the battle and he, when he no shows, he, uh, well, real life Trump's battle rap, like then like then stop fucking battling because almost every time you battle, you have something going on. Like, dude, fuck you. Pa I wa literally no, watched he told Pablo me battle in the two time. weeks after a coma. I literally watched Pablo battle two days after his father committed suicide. Fuck out of here. Yeah, you're talking to the wrong person about real life right. Trump's battle rap. I don't give a right. fuck. I'm not one right. of these people. Oh, I got a tummy ache. I can't do it. We're talking right. about plus, the plus weekend we my dad you. died. Still did right. a fucking battle. Don't want right. to hear it. Came out of a coma. Still did a fucking battle. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> Whatever bullshit you had going on, don't give a fuck. Yeah, and we don't believe you either. Like, we would give a fuck, but we don't believe you. That's the thing. 
Because if we if, if if you really had something going on the first time, you would have showed up the second time, and then you're you're like, Fact. oh, it's it's just a battle with Pablo. So and that's the thing. Like, I was still cool like, about oh, it. Now you're downplaying it when the battle got booked. You're all like, oh yeah, this battle's gonna be fire. And then after you know show, you're like, I mean, it's just a battle with Pablo Picasso. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna get smoked and you're gonna get bodied tonight. Facts. And don't well, worry. The thing, look, the thing that bothers up. me is that in the face-off, he's telling me, how are you going to be a part of a community for this long and you're not a somebody? Because every time there's been like a big opportunity for me to battle on a good card where I could actually get seen, this fucking happens. Yeah. And look, when I was younger, every time. I, every time. I, I'm a very chill person. Have you, I just want to ask a He's question to the audience. The Have the you ever, ever seen me bomb on anyone in this community? Ever? Ever. No. 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 And I still didn't, even they after he didn't show up, happened. still didn't do it. Even when he popped up talking drunk, still didn't do it. Still was like, if you go watch what Major just dropped, I was very calm and collected. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I can do the battle on your time, even though you're the one who missed it. Still being very fucking cool about it, if you ask me. But it's the thing is it's happened to me right. so many fucking times. And I don't know about y'all, but my time is valuable to me. Right. So, right. When you know, if you're just looking at like, that, oh, that, it's just that a battle to people like me and Pablo. And like I said, when I was younger, I used to be a lot more like cool about the shit. But once it's happened more, I've had more no shows and actual battles. And so for to someone right, to sit that, there no, and go, true. how are you not more known in this community? And then no show me twice. And in between that, pop up drunk, talking crazy. And then I'm cool enough to not only still do it, but let you pick the day. Right. And he and then you he would have start, he would have started battling in the virtual community sooner, but he had battled in real life and got fucked over so much. And not just by people. No, that happened all the time, but by other th shitty situations too. And and he was just fucking done with battle rap. He didn't want to fucking yeah. battle. Yeah, and I quote, De Niro bullshit. told me, I, like, I right, want to know what the excuse may, is going to be this time. Virtual. Remember? He said that. Yeah, he said, what's the yeah, excuse yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be this time? Yeah, nah, like, yo, I'm telling so you. So give me a like, break. Like, look, I, I was mad. I, I feel like I had every fucking right to be mad and go up. No one's going to tell me I didn't have the right to sure. feel that way. No, you, you had every right to feel that way. You had every right to feel that way. You know, and it's like, like I've calmed down since then, but I stand by everything I said. Everything. Yeah. I'm not taking any of it back. I don't apologize. Fuck him. I had every fucking Fuck. right to feel that way, and no one's going to tell me otherwise. No. And you I don't, don't even know why you'd want to try to convince me that I took it left. No, you listen, you can't take it left when you're in the right bars can't take it left when yeah, you're exactly. in the right fact fact of life right like come yeah. on man what are we doing here yep and the reason right. i went so hard Yo, everyone in is because i felt like it was up. getting swept share under the rug the and let people know i felt yeah, like it was facts. getting swept was under getting, the rug because if it had it been <laughs> had it been picasso or me who know showed or anyone it let's it take it out of us let's say innovate yeah Cliff. Even, let's say seizure yeah seizure didn't show up to the loso battle once right. one time seizure. the first day right he would have got bombed on be getting dragged any one yeah. of us innovate clip like yeah. let us like not said, show up to a battle twice smoke. pop up drunk talking crazy there's gonna be mad streams on it and i right. felt like now, it was getting swept thing. under the rug if De Niro you know? didn't pop up drunk talking crazy, it it would be a different story. Like there wouldn't be so much animal because it's like, bro, you didn't show up and you're up here talking fucking crazy, saying I better be ready. Like the fuck yeah. are you talking about? And then and I know I don't want to hear. Again. Listen, this is what this is why it pissed me off the most. Let me explain Back this very calmly. Is that listen? The whole shit happened with you, and everyone was saying. Look, it could have been anyone. It could have been anyone. It didn't matter who it was. We were going to punch on him for that. Well, two right. days later, you had your chance when De Niro was making a drunken fool of himself. Right. And right. I don't want to hear you didn't see it because, 
like granted i i get it wasn't on video but still these are the same people punching on you for being drunk saying right, it could right. have been anyone two days later they're in the chat before i came up there when he was making a drunken fool of himself no one no one in the chat was saying anything about it nobody see that the only crazy. comments i that's saw crazy. were people saying pablo do to crash out next while this guy's making a drunken fool of himself they're that's like crazy. pretending it's not happening that's and crazy. saying i'm potentially gonna crash out in the future i was and like are you fucking next? kidding me and what, are you kidding me what did what do they mean next because i didn't crash out hb crashed the fuck out it's to fucking, be honest it, it was wild i didn't to even me. see the that same people that today, said that i watched like 10 minutes of it him and De Niro both crashed the fuck out you made them both look dumb as hell i wasn't Real even shit. trying to i just went up there because no, he was, it was being was crazy easy. i was just trying to reschedule the battle so, so right. people wonder why i'm mad pull you i've bullshit. been nothing then, but fucking De Niro cool kept, De Niro kept since i came into this community it. look at the face off with clip i didn't talk crazy to him even after the battle we were cool i was cool with De Niro nah, before Pablo's the like been, come on cool. man you're not uh, gonna make me out to be wrong five, in the situation i don't give a fuck how hard you try you know it looks right. crazy it looks like you're caping for him and you're trying to make me the bad guy like give me a break are you fucking serious right now because and here's another thing i want to say is that like a week ago this is why i'm like not really in the chats anymore is because like a week ago there was a virtual battler like arguing with another battler and they were like oh i'm gonna troll you relentlessly i'm gonna put all this time and effort. I'm going to do live stream. I'm going to do pre-recorded on you. You got your own personally assigned troll. So I made one joke in the, the chat. I said, all instead of raising his kids, LOL. And fucking five people jumped up telling me I was in the wrong for that. That's fucked up. You're taking it too far, bringing people's kids into it. Which I'm like, how is that bringing his kids into yeah, it? That's bullshit. I didn't say anything about his kids. I don't know what they look like. I don't know their names. I don't give right, a fuck. We're no, talking about cool. him. This is the same community where like a Depp will bomb on smoke right. of NY for like giving his kids melatonin. People. people fucking cracking jokes about it. Like that's fine. But I swear to God, 10 hours, not 10 hours later after people telling me i took it too far you're bringing people's kids into this because i made a joke when this is the same person that had me on their screen for two months straight calling me a gay satanist i can't make a f and right. the same people i was saying oh come on it's just a joke what social can't take a joke telling me i took it too far right. Even though it's people. battle rap, what do you mean took it too far what the fuck are you talking and, about and, and what joke. hb said was way worse than what pablo said and then and not, saying, dude, oh, 10 hours later 10 hours later right. people were zooming in on this person's kids and talking all this crazy shit someone like called cpa i'm like are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me this can't yeah. be real this cannot right. be real like right. it's the double standards dude I, like what the fuck is happening well, i wonder here? who called that's crazy i wonder who called yeah i didn't do that i made a fucking joke in the chat and people were talking acting right. like right. i'm an asshole and i took it too far for bringing right. someone's kid what the same community zooming in on this person's kids like i was fucking baffled bro baffled i was like this can't be real so i like let i let that go i didn't even talk about it or anything but then for De Niro to no show a second time after popping up drunk and like, you know, I know a lot of people like, you know, didn't see it supposedly, but for then me to bomb on De Niro for no showing twice and doing that. And then people try to act like I'm in the wrong. Like I took right. it left. Right. I was like, you, you can't be fucking serious right now. Like, just say you don't like me or something, or you do like him and you don't, you're not like one way or the other towards me. But don't report this. The story is De Niro ducked. This is the story. De Niro mad at someone else for not doing the battle a month ago. I take the battle. He ducks or has a fucking a situation where he still didn't prove it to me. So I, you know, like fuck your privacy. Right. Prove to me behind the scenes that you had an emergency. Otherwise, I'm saying you right. didn't. You pop up drunk, right. talking crazy. I say you pick a day, 
you pick the day of the reschedule. And then because it wasn't highly promoted, because we knew you weren't going to show up, he thought he could skate and that he wouldn't get that much backlash for backing out because it wasn't really promoted that much. Of course I went off. Are you fucking kidding me? And then for anyone to try to make it like I'm in the wrong for that, like you look crazy. You're yeah. looking crazy right now. If Facts. you're going to fucking like cover the story, cover it. What actually happened? It should be called De Niro ducks twice and Pablo calls him out rightfully. Like, right. what are you talking about? You don't understand where the energy is. I don't, I don't understand where that is coming from. How about that? I don't understand your energy and saying you can't even comprehend why I was mad. Like, I don't believe you. I don't. No. Sorry. I, it feels like you're trying to Bullshit. troll shielding. Yeah. That's what it's yeah. called. The same thing they did when I, I made a joke and people were like, that's way too far. Are you serious? And then the same people cracking even worse, crazier jokes about the same person's no, kid no, no, 10 no, no. hours they, later. They, this community has always been full of double standard hypocrites. It's man. crazy to but, me. Like, but it's what? all good. It's all good. Cause, yeah. Cause I mean, I don't it, even feel a way about here? it. I'm just saying it what's so other happen? people can like look at Because look, this is the thing. I'm the type of person. I can step takes. back and look at something like analytically if Hold I'm on, involved or this. not. Pablo is a very reasonable. He's one of the most fucking reasonable people I've ever met in my entire life. Fact. Uh, so facts. when a situation happens, I don't just naturally react to it. And if I do have a natural reaction, I sit back and ask myself, why, why do I have this reaction? Is this the right? Fact. So I will sit back. I will look at the same situation in reverse. And go, okay, let's say it was me. If I had a family emergency, then I popped up drunk, talking crazy. Then I picked the second day. Then I backed out again. Would the coverage be the same? And the answer right. is no. no. It fucking wouldn't. People would wouldn't not. be like, oh, I don't understand where this energy is coming from. from dinner. No, they'd be like, well, I get it. At least I understand. Like, give me a break, bro. Like, bro. if you can't step out of it and look at it, like, unbiasedly and just, like, you know, that's how I know. Like, okay, you're you're compromised or whatever you want to call it. You have your biases are showing in your reporting. Yeah. Yep. It's like, come on, man. If I can take myself out of it, and even after, here's how reasonable I am. After I saw that, I was like, wow, was I bugging? What did I take it left? I went back and re-listened to the whole thing and was even like, you know, gonna. I told social, I was like, oh, well, let me make a timeline of events and like explain it to people so they get it. Because that's how reasonable I am. I'm like, well, if they don't understand, maybe I should try. But after rewatching it, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way someone could watch that stream and not at least like understand where I'm coming from. Like, come on. Right. And if you don't, either A, you didn't watch it, or B, like you weren't that's actually listening to anything I was saying. That's the thing. Most people didn't watch it. Like I, yeah. I saw a couple blogs where I, I heard what the people said and I was like, there's no way you watched it. There's though. no way you watched the whole thing. There's none. Yeah. Actually, because was like I wasn't just like ranting like a lunatic the entire time. There was times where I was very calm and explaining why I was mad in between the jokes and the bomb. Right. And so it's like, come on, man. I don't believe you. I don't believe you watched it and walked away. Like, I don't even, I can't even fathom why he'd feel that way. Like, stop it. Stop it. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm not, hard. I'm not even like mad at this point. I'm not mad about the situation anymore. So that's how I can sit back and look at it like reasonably. And even look at what I did and said and go, was I bugging? And I'm like, no, I don't think I was. And you're never going to convince me I was in the wrong for that. I don't give a fuck. Nope. And Picasso spitting his rounds, all three of them coming up very, very soon. Make sure you share this stream. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that, yeah, there's only like four people in here, but share the stream. 
This is crazy how many people wanted to see this battle, but now people don't even want to see the, the rounds. <laughs> I know people will watch yeah, it after, it, it is it's crazy. Whatever. It's people crazy. will watch it. If you put it in their face, they'll watch it. Oh, of course. Of course. Whatever. Of course. But um, <sighs> speaking of, speaking of, we're definitely going to get into the rounds very, very soon. And I have a, a crazy story that I'm going to be telling tonight. Um, which will take up a good chunk of the show. Um, it's a it's a great, great, great story. Um, but uh, yeah, man. So I mean, Pablo, it's up to you. I mean, do you want to get right into the rounds, or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I guess we might as well just get it over with. Obviously, I feel like you. I feel like you just want to get it, get the this shit off, you know. So let's get it. Pablo Picasso versus De Niro. Yo, I'll I'll I'll, I'll be De Niro, all right? So after yeah. your first after your first round, I'll rap as De Niro and then and then you Well, go. um you should play like the um the round 1, round 2 shit from the restore order shit or something. That I would have to screen record it load it to the turn it to mp4 load it to the stream yeah, it'd be too much right now to do that for me i don't have an easier way to do it oh unless hold on i can pull up the the stream right hold on pablo picasso is about to spit his rounds for De Niro. just give me one second Can you hear that? Oh, let me share the screen. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm ready, bro. All right. All right. Let me share the screen real quick, and then I'll unshare it so I can so I can show you on the screen. All right. Pablo is gonna camp him up for this too. So. <laughs> Right, Pablo sure. Picasso, <laughs> round one, it's on you. Hold on, let me give you a solo layout. Oh, hold on, I guess this. Yeah. All right. Go. Pablo Picasso, spit that one, shit. Two, you hear me? You hear me? You're good. Hey, hold up. I'm Can good? y'all hear him? <laughs> I think Hayden and Major are the only two people in here talking, but uh, babe. I still don't feel the best, but I'm, I'm going to perform at the best I can. I, I just want to get these fucking bars off. So, whatever. All right. You're, you're good. You sound good. All right. You're good. <laughs> they say that time is money, and you wasted mine. So I should take a nine iron, break his spine, and leave D Nero D. Stabilize. I'm really starting to hate this guy. How you duck twice with no explanation why. Don't fucking lie to me. Change your name from De Niro to Duck Dynasty. Yeah, he's got all of these battles. He just doesn't win. How you make three promises to God before you jump in the ring? And what? Showing up wasn't one of those things? And now you're choking in your battles? What are you, New Orleans twerk? Could this nice guy act get any worse? He's like, I don't use bad words when I craft a verse. These fucking wholesome rappers, I swear they curse. It's absurd. Or at least seems funny. Your rap name means money? When this craft will never pay your bills. I say play it safe. For the kids' sake, just chill. Cause there'll be nothing left of De Niro when I break his will. You may get killed, 
I stay with the blades in case I catch this bitch out in public and De Niro get cut like stick to the budget. Yeah, money talks, but his stock is beginning to plummet. If I cage in this Louisiana craggle and a kick in the bucket. He said I ain't touching a revolver. Yeah, dog, you right. Cause I'm Caucasian crazy, real Dahmer like. So they can't even call this a body that I caught tonight. When I dissolve the guy in a vat of acid, there won't be a part in sight. When I cram De Niro in a barrel like bitch, I'm Walter White. I came to check your balance. If money on the line, and I'll call your bluff with these pocket nines. And your jaw get wired when I stomp the guy. Or I palm a knife, give him two horizontal slices so De Niro gonna resemble a dollar sign on its side. He ain't equal to what mine is, and that's the bottom line. I run up, he like, wait, wait, wait. But he should have tried lifting some. Listen, son, I will scissor kick him just for fun. I can't tell if he's 26 or 51. All I know is he's been on a decline, and that shit isn't enough, De Niro. That's insufficient funds, bitch. You ducked because you knew that you couldn't fuck with me. You're trying to ride off that underdog luxury. You need to be more universal, because currently, that shit too obscure like third world currency. But don't change up on my account. Stand on your principle, you old news. Most money these days is digital, so no wonder why the scene treat De Niro was zippy and visible. It got me asking, is this a practical joke? Like when a bank robber silently passes a note to the teller to tell her to get the cash from the boat, and they put a sabotage die pack in with the dough. So even if De Niro get in his bag, his ass getting smoked. Whoa, you talking awful lot. But he didn't know what to say like Papa Doc, unless he off the song. So I let a bottle pop on top his noggin like muzzle top. Nah, I said bottle pop because I light him up and then toss him like a Molotov and put the narrow through the wall like a safety deposit box. Doc, I'm on a run. You gonna try stopping it? Bitch, my confidence is God rocketed. They said you're gonna put De Niro down. I said now that I'm seeing this psychologist, if I get it all out, then I'm positive. So keep your head up or call it quits. Cause the fans are fed up and you're the cause of it. Cause after all them slim screens thinking about De Niro, like we don't even care about the cost of it. You would think it was a classic 80s horror flick, how I pop up with an ax if you start to trip. You see me in a mask and get to hacking like anonymous. It will be a killing spree. I'm crossing all these kids off the list like Charles Whitman, how I tower over clocking hits. You always pop up talking shit, but you're not exactly an easy op to miss. The M249 got a lot of kit, like the Karate Kid. And all the witnesses are recoil at the sight when I saw some shit. I'm making discount. When slugs go on sale and they clearing out all of this. Now the docs legit trying to save the narrow, cause when the chopper spit, it knocked like 50% off this bitch. I didn't even need them gun bars, King. But this is an official one round bun, bitch. Fuck out of here. Damn, round fucking one. <laughs> Yo, that would have been a clear fucking bot. The yeah. arrow cannot do that. Let's <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah. Hold on one second. Uh, Hold on one second. <laughs> Yeah, I know um, my <clears throat> yo yo. It's the narrow um, real life Trump's battle rap time. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, we're about to get into round two in a second here. Yeah? yeah, there's no way he was gonna beat that. Round. 
Absolutely no fucking no way. way. Even though I know my vocal projection was like a little off at parts, don't even matter. On that day, he was gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah, and and today's dying. All right, you ready for round two? All right, give me one second. Hold on. <clears throat> Yo, Let me give you the solo they said they're going to put a clock on the screen this time around. I said there's not any need. These are timeless rounds. So be humble in defeat and show amazing grace once you've lost because I'm profound. Wow. I told them after we get bombed on that we could be friends. But really, it was just to slide in his mom's DMs. And normally, I wouldn't crack yo mama jokes. But we all want to know, was yo yo really trying to smash yo mama, bro? Yo, I bet growing up with a hot mom is something he had to deal with. And all the PTA dads trying to get some PTNA on the field trip. No, real shit, I'm not a turd like double. I know it's a funny angle. I hate to burst y'all bubble. I'm not gonna fuck De Niro's mom. Cause the bitch probably built like Miss Hustle and got a stank face like Rikishi got her on the turnbuckle. But if that double shit is true, you should have fucking killed the dude. He should have had a whole different type of crisis interview. This fucking dude, he's always whining. Like, all these rappers do is gun bars and name flips. Like, every match, you don't do that same old lame shit. And people repeatedly tell you, bro, that ain't it. It's always the same song and dance like Lay Miz. I bet his music cool, but every punch a straight miss. It's like those bands that have that one song that really get them famous. And then when you see them in concert, they just refuse to play it. Cause I'm outstanding in this field, still waiting for a hit. So face it, your shit just don't phase me. As far as hard hitting bars, I'll have three or four, maybe. I'm direct with De Niro, Paul Martin, Scorsese. He from Narlins, ain't he? Have the Pelicans won any championship games, G? We got dynasties in Boston. I'm talking more rings than Shane G. Wishes he was a commercial rapper, but he'll never be mainstream. Nah, I mean the Burger King commercial rapper. But you ain't B, so I gotta kill him. For stealing another man's style, he a straight thief. Like Robin Williams, the shit this kid Jack getting old quick. We ain't in the same league. A Bob Dylan, whatever trouble you looking for, it ain't me. So it pains me to see my son just a wallflower trying to cover his tracks. Cause all along he watched hours. I make the culture shift by clocking in long hours. So I hit money with a brick, like fuck the narrow bitch of Mario with the star power. Whatever bullshit he pitched, just know my art. Fowler. I'm plugged in like Doc Brown on the clock tower. This New England cracker busted in your girl's clam and you chowder. Ugh. Yo, he casually mentioned he battled NXT. So later that day, I'm like, well, let's just see. 136 views. This just can't be. You lost clear, and there was nowhere near the best next we've seen. But next, I've seen something even more strange. Did y'all know he battled Jack Boy Main? I'm like, all right, this one's got to be more in the range of a couple thou. Wow, 238. Bro, that's lower than the Narlins 2022 murder rate. Even you know that's insane. That's less than half of the passengers on a Boeing plane. Even when your opponents have names, you're not growing in fame. No wonder why he's so ashamed he wouldn't even show his face. My first ever tryout on a local stage got like 800 in the opening day. And I know you've wrestled to step up your promo game, but you're getting rocked 
Because in this culture, no one knows this flame. And that's the difference between the stone colds and the Roman reigns. And we already know what you are going to say. I am better than you. No debate. So, of course, he aborted mission to Nero v. Wade. Hey, fuck out of here. Yo, that was fucking crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering the delivery a little bit, but it's, it's all good. Yeah, oh. no, it's, all, it's all right. <laughs> this kid was going to fucking die, bro, for real. <laughs> like, I don't think people understood. <sighs> Take a little water Woo. break. Let me get this. It's uh, round three. <laughs> All right, round three. I'll just fucking get it out of the way. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> yeah, I was just trying to catch my breath a little. But, uh, <clears throat> all right, it's like, yo, you gonna need this great it's, illustration it's hold up, hold up, in your second. life, hold up, plus illustrated oh. with every literary device. Be very precise, and that still will not suffice. Because any narrative you're trying to paint just ain't sitting right. You're trying to throw shade in this space to make them see me in a different light. Go back to the drawing board after I win tonight and brush up on your artistry because you're hardly even in the fight. We both know you respect me, so look into your idle eyes. Word is bond, there's no time to die. I'm so outside the box that by the time y'all guys realize that same box will double as the coffin, he go lie inside. Who is gonna call me an addict like that shit's tight? But I put that habit in a casket, and compared to that shit, this battle's light. But when I was actively getting high, it only prepared me for this match tonight. Cause I wasted dinero over half my life. Yikes! I can tell this bitch bitter. I took C's place for this plate like a pinch hitter. Playing with GI Joes, the only time you had six figures. So how you named after an actor and still can't see the big picture? Call me a colonizer. Cause I kicked in the door ready to conquer. Different level of monster. I've been dancing with wolves like Kevin Costner and offsetting the best pens on the roster. Seeing you drunk aggressive was awkward. He you knows slouch, but them back to back problems have been affecting his posture. So when De Niro gets snubbed, I ain't talking about him not getting an Oscar. I got a certain conviction they feel in their soul. That's why it's hitting home. Like when you was at work trying to get the dough, I was at your crib all up in your hose, different holes. The knife slice them down the middle that will turn into a dinner roll. If I fire sticks, it'll change the channel on De Niro like I'm trying to watch a different show. I could kill you with any flip, but this the most fitting note. This is the third time we've seen him die in a row. Before you say that's a reach, listen, no. I said N-E flip, die, N-R-O. Bro, you don't write like that. Yo, you know the story of Nero? He was a Roman emperor who was worshipped by his flock. It said he would go to the ends of the earth to serve and was seen as an instrument of God, which is ironic. When Servius challenged his power and it was pissing him off, he burned his city to the ground and played the fiddle as he watched. And that's the only time De Niro was fired with the songs. But that's not the only way it's fitting to the plot. Because the second he feels like y'all not giving him props, he'll burn every bridge instead of getting across. And the conclusion is the same whether you get it or not. It ends in tragedy. Dean Nero fleed and killed himself off. Now, I wasn't going to just list off different De Niro movies until I watched and plotted the way De Niro moved. He had some sleepers. Now we on his comeback trail. So there's great expectations for you to win against me. 
because he know if he not flawless, the fans would be giving him heat. I'm untouchable. They could have brought Roan in because, bro, the pen killer elite. So when my machete sliced the cheek of this joker, y'all see the Nero die on live TV. So hide and seek asylum. Take your wife and flee. Because when this jackknife attacks, he drive her to a city by the sea. Because from what I can see, he plays the role of the good shepherd and acts like a godsend, but that's as far-fetched as a cartoon. It's funny you look like Papa Shango, because he also played the godfather part two. It's about to get dark, dude. I did not come to play with him. I came to shake him out of that catatonic state he is, so it brings me great joy to be part of the Nero's awakening. If you tally the score, that was 22 De Niro films just to prove you ain't fucking with the Irishman. You see, G, I just don't see that younger you, that hungry you. Because now everything you take don't age so well. It's better to be remembered as a legend and stay on the shelf than just be out here getting watched. Because at this point, De Niro only playing himself. Body bag, boy. Three fucking, oh, fuck out of my face. Three fucking oh, yo, that De Niro <laughs> movie scheme at that, know, like, like people do movie road, schemes, yeah. but people do movie schemes. But that was twenty two fucking movies, and you made it all relate to him. That that is fucking insane, yo, Pablo Picasso with yo, the it was thirty. It was originally longer. I had to cut some of it down because I was like, okay, maybe this yeah, is unnecessarily long. Twenty six like, uh, movies. You know, there was, uh, I was like, oh, I analyzed this boy's right. life growing up in the mean streets. Yeah, and, you know, 26. You should have used mean streets, but that's it was right. 34 originally. Because it was oh, like, uh, it was like, uh, we're no angels, but we are men of honor. So you better not dare talk about my father. This ain't a grudge match, but I got hands of stone. I'm a raging bull, ready to heist my respect on my way to the throne. Like, so even yeah. within the scheme itself, there was another mini scheme, like because those were all boxing movies that he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it just no, felt like unnecessarily quiet. long, kind of. You know what I mean? No, it, it was amazing, <laughs> as is. Um... Yeah, I know I yeah. didn't deliver some of it the way I wanted to, but it's all good. I really don't. Oh, yeah. it. Um, it doesn't I had matter. To just get it out. But you know what? It doesn't matter because the narrow wouldn't have been able to deliver like that. No, he wouldn't have been able to perform. That, even me, if you fucking... were sick, you still would have won. You you could beat the narrow at fifty percent. Yeah. Out of here. Well, also, like I said, I I'm still getting over a cold, and I had to do like all three rounds back to back. So, the third, I wanted to uh, deliver the movie scheme with a little more oomph, but. Make sure y'all like sure share this and uh, and let the people know. I mean, he was—he can't fuck with that, bro. He can't write like that anyway. So it didn't even matter. Even if I delivered it monotone, he would still get bodied. Yeah. Yeah, share this. And, like, I didn't... The that. parts where I was, like, calling him out for not showing up and shit, I didn't, like... Uh, I didn't just write that. I just, like, Changed a word or two in the original verse, <laughs> you know. But um, there was parts where I actually just made up, kind of like on the spot, like that whole uh, palm the knife, give him two horizontal slices. The yeah, it resemble a dollar sign on its side. Like you, had, you didn't even hear that. that. I just came it up was, with that earlier. There was a few other things I didn't hear either. <laughs> yeah, I just threw it because yeah. I look. I had to make it fun for me because I've had these bars for so long. That it's like just wrapping them the way I practiced a bunch of like it's been so long that it was like man I'd like at least make it fun for me you know what I mean right right <sighs> Shit. yeah that felt good that yeah. was lethargic now now <laughs> we can move past that fucking battle and now like I was telling y'all earlier right before Pablo came in now we can just focus on the music. Um, and I'm going to reiterate, um, like I said on the last stream, that wasn't like an emotional thing that we were saying. Like, if if anybody wants to book Pablo for a battle or a feature or anything, you have to contact me. And, and it's our email. It's both of our business emails. So 
Picasso bookings at gmail.com. That's where you contact Picasso to book him. Just so you know, but we are going to be focusing on unscripted logic this summer. Um, and we're going to be focusing on some Pablo Picasso solo shit. And we're going to be focusing on um, definitely um, doing a video for Die Laughing and, and probably one of, one of the other. Right. Facts. Yeah. Facts, man. You I can tell. I mean, more. you can tell I don't feel good. Literally, I. Uh, someone said to me yesterday when I, I went to work yesterday, too. I walked in like, yo, you all right? I'm like, eh, not really. But <laughs> When I was there Friday, none of you guys felt good. Yeah, everyone here was sick. Yeah. But that's it the thing. is I'm not a bitch. House, that, That's why right, I got right, so right. mad. That is right. another reason I got so mad. Because I'm like, dude, I don't even feel good. And I was still willing to do it on your day that you picked. Right. I, I had every right to say, no, let's do it another day because I don't feel good. I, if right. I'm still willing to do it on the date that you picked, even though I don't feel good, there's no fucking reason why you shouldn't be able to do it. That's why another reason why I got so fucking mad about it. Just yeah. wait. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the feedback from this. People are going to be like, oh, that wasn't fucking, he didn't, he wouldn't have bodied. I, oh, can, yeah, I can't wait there. But people are going to be in fucking denial because they know, like, if they, if they're Whatever. saying I, that. I'd have to really watch here. it back because I don't know. To me, no I way. felt like no. I, there was no. parts where I I nailed it, but there was parts where I was like I was like a little out of breath and I didn't no way, say it the way I wanted to, kind of. But no, it don't, don't even matter, honestly. He didn't even show up, so the fact I even still like performed it like that is like, no, nah, you killed because you didn't even have to. Cam. I told Pablo before that I was like, you don't even have to cam up if you don't want. To. But no, nah, like, if I'm nah. gonna rap it, at least like, bro, I yeah. fucking wrote it but and no, practiced you it a bunch of times, like. I'll, I'm I'll at least gonna around. fucking. But and that's another thing is like how I felt today. I was like I could have put it off and done it later, but I'm like I I don't fucking. I just want it over with. I'm like I'm tired of fucking remembering well, these bars very, and. It was very fitting that that uh, he no showed twice, and then it happens that that um we're able to drop this on episode ten of unscripted logic. You right. Know what I mean it. Going right right you know, so that's a great thing but yes if in case you weren't in here and, and and you didn't hear um or whatever um starting next week um episode 11 or maybe episode 12 i'm not 100 percent sure but we will be streaming simultaneously on rumble and youtube um there'll be a unscripted logic page um it won't be a social <sighs> assassin page it'll be unscripted logic um, and next week we actually have um, MME coming on the show, so which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, MME said I lost three zero, and and I'm still cool with him, and he's still coming on the show. So how how did I crash out over the battle again? <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, it's, whatever, bro. Let, but, let him fucking. No. Let them do but, whatever they do. But yeah. MME is a real one. Like he, he, uh, and you know what? He's he's extremely intelligent, and the conversation the three of us are gonna have is gonna be amazing. Um, I'm excited for right. it. It's gonna be a great episode. And then yeah, also, I was watching. Uh, it was like I, I got out of work one night. It was like twelve thirty or one or something. I just so happened to stumble across. He had a depth on, and, and the conversation they were having was fire. It was, yeah, he, he chopped it a, up into a bunch of little, like, uh, yeah, he had like a smaller interview. clips, but and, that and was I'm glad I told him this too. I'm like, I'm so glad you did that interview because, like, every other interview I've done for in this community or in general has been amazing every interview i've ever done and then i dropped the ball with the adept interview i just i it wasn't that good and and he did a fantastic job he did a fantastic job um but yeah he's it's gonna be it's gonna be great um it's gonna be a great episode and then mme is gonna be interviewing me and i'm gonna be interviewing him so that's that's yeah dope. that's fine yeah yeah so the um well it's gonna be kind of like uh at you know at the same time or like back to back but i feel like you know we might it, we're gonna see we're gonna see how how it works but it's gonna be in the same same stream same
same interview um, on his channel, too. We're going to do it on his channel. So, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, it's going to be dope. We got a lot of dope shit coming. Um, I'm excited for the future of this show. And like I said, I, I really think that that especially if we if we add a second show, um, I feel like ru our our Rumble channel will will start to build a following pretty pretty quick, you know, because it'll be a fresh fresh start fresh channel with dope content and it's a dope name. Like if I saw if I was just on Rumble and I saw like a channel called Unscripted Logic, I'd be like, huh, let me check this out because that just sounds like a cool name. So, or any, anything else, Pablo? What do we got? What do we got to talk about? Uh, I mean, whatever you want. Like I said, I'm just basically fucking tell some stories or whatever. I'm just yeah. I, I got a good story. So I I've been want I I I almost told this story a couple times on this stream, but it's a long story. So, but it's a good one. So episode ten, I figure I'm gonna tell this story. Um. I'm just finishing up cooking my dinner. So um <laughs> just give me a second. But yeah, it's uh it's a great story. So yeah, you got anything? Still, no, no, you go. I'm still like catching my breath. Like, no, nah, you're good. Even... You're good. I'm well, what, what I kind of took everything quick, I had for real. What I'm gonna do real quick. Um, yeah, come on. There were days where I never thought I'd make it. Now, weather every storm, there was points where I'd come complacent and I didn't even know who I was anymore. Looking back on my past. Reflections, so many heartbreaks, setbacks, and lessons. I done traveled to a different dimension. So the fact that I'm alive today, damn, it's a blessing. Got a blood infection from shooting up heroin on death's door, asking her to let me in. Saw how beautiful heaven is thrown into my body, had to relearn everything. W woke from my coma, they said I'd never walk again. Sleep kissed me on the cheek, but it was not the end. So I at least want you to try to comprehend them in the book today. They used to say I'd never talk again. I've been overcoming every single obstacle. So I'm feeling damn near unstoppable. I already achieved the impossible. I hopped up on my own two feet and walked about that hospital. That's when you start to see who is really down for you. Who is holding you down and who is drowning you. Who wants you to succeed and who is doubting you. Information is key. Knowledge is powerful. There was Days where I never thought I'd make it. Now weather every storm. There was points where I'd come complacent and I didn't even know who I was anymore. This is a whole different energy I'm channeling. My life a movie, all that's missing is the camera lens. Fake friends and snake skin, I'm aware of them. The ones I hold close show me what the word abandoned meant. Had to be honest with myself, I was type scared. These problems with my health had me facing my fears. Calling out for help, but realized that only I care. Promised to myself I would not fucking die here. I cried, yeah, but then I wiped clear my tears. And right there, I learned that life really fights fair. Gotta start fresh like a white pair of night gears. Searching in my soul, and sometimes what I find's rare. Pops had cancer, trying to get through the pain. He put a shotgun in his mouth and blew us all away. Whether I like it or not, he's in my DNA, cause we gon' end the same. Bitch, I'm going out with a bang. It made me look back on the life I've been living. Non stop clock watching, the time was ticking. I knew that I had to kick my addiction. I dropped the needle for the record like the vinyl spinning. There was days where I never thought I'd make it. Now, weather every storm. There was points where I'd come complacent and I didn't even know who I was anymore. Days where I never 
All righty, all righty, all righty. Let me get you out of solo mode. There we go. There we go. All right. So you there, Pablo? Yep. All right. All right. Word, word. Um, yeah, man, Hazy, the, the future is bright for this show, man. The future is bright for this show. This community might not fuck with us, but eventually no, I, mean, other, I don't think that's other just... well either 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 way um the the this show is gonna eventually catch on to other things because we we're gonna get it on spotify we're gonna get it so it only is is bright but so i have this story um <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy it's pretty long uh but it's a very very good story uh pablo's not involved in this story but he because he was younger at the time but he saw all the stuff that led up to the the situation right and obviously these things are happening at his house you know what i mean so um so going all the way back and i gotta be careful not to say names because there's a lot of people involved um but so there was this kid and he was new to town and he was dating a, a close friend of mine, a close female friend of mine. And, you know, I would hang out with her and him and, and, and her sister. So I, I started after like, you know, scoping him out and seeing, you know, and he seemed like a, you know, like a decent kid, you, you know, into a lot of the same stuff we're into and shit like that. So, you know, um, I let, we, we started letting him come around and hang out with us and, and shit like that. And, um, there were many times at, at school where he would, um, cause I think I met him my last year of school, which was sophomore year, but I mean, junior year, but, um, but he, uh, so there were numerous times where it would, he, he would be about to get jumped by multiple people and I would step in just me cause no one else would be there or whatever and, and have to back everyone off. And then, you know, there was, so there, he, this kid would just starting to cause a lot of trouble cause he felt like he had us to back him up so he was starting shit with people and just so we're starting to see that this kid's you know kind of whatever so but whatever we're you know we're riding with him he's one of us at, at this point it had already been he had already been ro rolling with us for a few months you know like six months or something so we um We had a falling out, and uh, so he ends up the, was at a party and with his girlfriend, my a close friend of ours, and he like hit a beer bottle while she was sipping it, and it chipped her tooth. So we we had a problem with that. So we you know told him when we seen him we were gonna fuck him up so then well i i was saying that and and a couple of, but like a couple other people too but then he started doing other shit he called the cops on me while i was at pablo's house um for doing something that i didn't even fucking do saying i threatened him all this shit um threatened to kill him all this crazy shit so then um <laughs> then he comes to the house and he 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 was gonna vandalize the inside of one of our friends' cars. He thought well, he it was either mine or one of our other friends, but both of our cars were locked. So he just picked the next car that was unlocked, which was the worst idea. And um it was our one of our other brothers um girlfriend's car and he took a shit in it in the front on the front seat so 
needless to say, we all had an issue with this guy. We all had a reason. I mean, how fucking wild is that to even right. think to do anyway? Like, right. So we... <laughs> not, not dog shit. He, it was human shit, right? Yeah. And fact. Our, our, our brother had to clean it up. So. Now, at this point, we're like, all right, we got to fuck this kid up, right? And I think at this point, I'm not in school anymore. Um, Our older brother's not in school anymore. So, like, none of us really were seeing him. But one day, I'm going to be real, because we we were doing drugs at the time. I was, anyway. And we went to pick up some... some, like perk tens or some shit like that. So just like nothing crazy, just just like a perk ten each. And we and the kid that we went to go get them from asked us, "What are you doing today?" And we said, "We're going to beat up. We're going to find so and so and beat him up." And that I was just saying that, like I, I we weren't really like going looking for him. We, you know, we were actually just going to the store. Like we, we really weren't going looking for him. So, but I just said that, like, and then, so th- there's we have two cars. It's it's one of our other brothers, his girlfriend, his girlfriend's mom, and then the girl that used to be with this with this kid um actually i don't think she was there no no she wasn't but so we so and then it was me one two three it was five people five total right so yeah so there was four so there was four of us in in one car and then it was one other male one of the other brothers and, and, and his girl and his girl's mother in the other car. So, so that, so anyway, we're driving, they say they have to go get gas. So they go to the gas station on the main road and we're on, we pull onto the main road and who do we fucking see this fucking dude? He drives right past us. And I said, yo, I bet he's going to this store. I bet he's going to the store. Now they're at the gas station. So we we take we go right and we pass the gas station. We yell out the window. Yo, we just saw him. He just drove by. Come on, let's go. So then we follow him. Sure as shit. He pulls into the store. And um, when we pull in, he's in the store. Okay. Now, when he comes out of the store, the uh, the other our other brother had just pulled up like with the with the girls and they went in the store or the the mother did at least anyway and yeah the mother went in the store so then dude comes outside and we're all kind of like you know spread out around his vehicle or whatever and he goes to get in his truck and uh I pushed the door shut now mind you he did something to all of us he fucked with all of us. So he deserved every bit of what the fuck he got. Um, if it had just if he had just then did something to me, it would have been just me beating his ass, whether all of us were there or not. If it was just the one of the other guys, it would have just been a one on one fight. But he did something crazy to all of us. So um so we all wanted to fuck him up, right? So he comes out and we let him walk through us, like in the middle of us. And we kind of like just like swarm in as he gets in the middle of us. And I let him get to his door of his truck and he opens the door and I push it shut. <laughs> and uh, and he, he uh, tries to open it again. I push it shut again. And all of a sudden now... I'm going to do it one more. I plan to, my plan is to do it one more time and then I'm just going to start teeing off on him. Right. And one of, one of our, the brother whose car got shit in his girlfriend's car got shit in all of a sudden grabs do by the fucking back of the head and just starts pounding, just fucking laying into him and, and, 
pulling his head forward while he's hitting it. It was just bashing him. Dude finally drops. And we're, and we're all just kicking him. I'm pulling him up by the shirt, punching him in the face, kicking him in the ribs, doing just we're just fucking beating the shit out of this kid. Um, bad, too. And this was back in the days when there wasn't cameras at every fucking store, or every plaza, you know. Um, so there were no cameras. And and when you did see cameras, they never worked. Um, but so we. So we beat the dog shit out of this kid and he and he he gets up and after a little bit, he gets up and he starts. um, He starts like walking around a certain, but he's like he, he he's fucking dazed. He's done. He, he doesn't know where the fuck he is. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. And one of his eyes looked really fucked up and and he just like kind of walked or like stumbled around the circle of us and he got to one of our friends and fucking swings a punch at him and missed and then my you know my buddy grabs him in a headlock and just started punching him in the fucking head and then we're we're like all right let's go we gotta get the fuck out of here and dude was ho- holding on to his shirt a shirt that he loved that he had just got the day before for his birthday <laughs> from his mom and he's trying to get away and the kid just holding on to his shirt and trying to hold him there. And we're like, yo, come on. So I run over and I like grab my buddy's arm and I start pulling him away and the shirt just fucking ripped. But anyway, I grab him. We, we jump in the car. We get the fuck out of there. Me and two. So there was five of us total. So me and one of our friends and then one of our brothers, we we went to massachusetts to to duck out for for a few days right just to let the smoke clear right and then the the other three went went home and they ended up getting you know arrested and booked and whatever and um they didn't say anything and then when we came back we just went and turned ourselves in and um (laughs) So then when we so then we go to court, right? And this is just this is supposed to be the arraignment. This is supposed to be where you just go in and say guilty, not guilty. Now at this time, I'm living with with Pablo's family and you know, I don't I, I don't have much money. I'm fucking around, you know, I'm getting high, I'm fucking just running amok, right? And I had been in that courtroom so many times and I was looking at three, like one to three years, one year minimum. If I was in that courtroom again, like that's what the judge kept telling me. Shout out to that judge, man, because he cut me so many fucking breaks. So many times he told me, you know, next time you're going, but this time I really was going if I, if I, I was found guilty. So what happened was, we got offered a plea. Now, everyone else's plea included uh, a fine and community service. My plea was a year in, in prison, two months probation. I mean, two years probation. So so <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, I'm not. Do- I can't do that. So they all agree to take the plea. So we have a conversation and we're all there and we have a conversation. I explained to them, like, look, if I go up there and sit and say I'm not guilty and I and then I do this trial, like that means that, like, I'm saying you guys did it. But they did. They were they were they were like, we already we already said we did it. We took the plea. Right. So I'm like, all right, word. You know, then I, I don't feel so bad about it. They're like, you're going to go to jail. Like you, we we just have to pay a fine and go do some community service. You're going to go to jail. So I'm like, all right, word. So. I tell the prosecutor, no, I'm not taking the plea after they already took it. And. He says, okay, then we're going to trial today. And I know I know I probably could have got a continuance, but 
I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm ready. So I walk in and uh, I told the judge I'll be representing myself. And I'm 18 years old at the time. I told him I'll be representing myself. And the <laughs> all of a sudden, a pub, they had already told a public defender to come. And a public defender comes and um and I and I have many people who can come up here and vouch for this. This is all facts. Um so the public defender comes comes up and puts down his he's like, okay, so this is what we're gonna and I said, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna leave because I'm handling this. Get out of here. And fact. He, he looked at the judge and the judge said he wants to do he wants to represent himself, let him do it. Um, and he's like, but you're on. He's like, it's his right. So anyway, I represent myself. Now the, the, the prosecutor used to be the sergeant. So as a minor, this guy, hate yo, he despised me. Right. So I take this shit very serious. Now he has witnesses. One of them was actually happened to be my first girl, girlfriend, right? Actually, not my first girlfriend, the first girl I ever kissed. So, hilarious, right? She was not there when this happened. But she was there to go on the stand and say that she saw it happen. So, she goes up on the stand the the prosecutor questions her and stuff like that she straight up lies just straight up lies and and says all this stuff and i'm giving her like this death stare the whole time she won't even look at me and and i'm think and i know in my mind i'm thinking she doesn't she i don't think she realizes that i get to question her too right so so then i get up there and i question her and i get her to admit that she was not there when um, when it happened that she actually showed up after when the police were already there and the police asked her to say that she was there when it happened. So, um, no further questions, your honor. Uh, so then the next witness was the store clerk who was also in my grade in school. Right. So this store the window behind the cashier is full of advertisements. There's not a single open. You can't even not a place where you can like peek out with your eye. Nothing. It, every inch of it is covered. Right. So the the prosecutor questions him and he asks, you know, he tells, oh, I saw it out the window, you know, whatever. Da, 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 da. I tore this kid apart. I got him tripped up and, and lies and everything. And, and then I got him to, so I was like, so you said you saw everything from out the window. And he said, yeah. And I was like, okay, what window? The window behind the register? And he said, yep. I said, oh, the one that's covered in advertisements that you can't see out of. And his face just turned white and he had nothing to say. But I had already like torn him to shreds before that. And uh, so again, no, no further questions, Your Honor. And then I got to question the kid that that we that you know, and uh, I caught I caught him lying like four times, and and I actually because he said he came outside and we were all scattered around the parking lot, and then a few questions later, I asked him. So where were we standing when you came out of the store? Like as if I didn't already ask the question. And he said, you, you were surrounding my truck. I said, okay, may I remind you that you're under oath? <laughs> and he said, yep. Yeah. I said, okay. So a minute ago, I asked you that very same question. And you said that we were scattered throughout the parking lot. Starts fumbling over is where I'm telling you, I ripped this kid apart. So it got to a point where the judge literally just said, okay, this is turning into a circus. We're not doing this anymore. This kid is clearly innocent and you know, it's time to end this. So, um, 
social, you are free to go, da 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 da. And then he's like, you are to have no contact with 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 him or any, you know, none of us were allowed to have any contact with him or speak to him. Fine. So we all got about to go outside and have a cigarette and and Pablo's mom is like, no, just wait. And of course, us being us, we're like, fuck that. We need a butt. So I needed a victory. But anyway, so we all go outside. We smoke a butt and the kid walks outside with his mom. And they walk past us. Don't look at us. We don't look at them. No one says anything. And now, mind you, after this, I have a job interview after this court situation, right? At this point, my interview is in like an hour. And so they walk past. They walk into their car. All of a sudden, the prosecutor. Oh, let me run it back. When So when the judge said that I was innocent. The prosecutor fucking threw his folder on the table like a little fucking kid and crossed his arms and sat back in his chair like a fucking kindergartner. And his when he tossed his folder, it slid across the table onto the floor like he was beyond pissed. So now. The prosecutor comes running outside and he runs up to the kid and his mom while they're at their car, talks to them for a minute and then runs past, looks at me and smiles and runs inside. And I'm like, oh, fuck, what the fuck does he have up his sleeve? So then he's inside for about five minutes and he comes back out. And the reason we hadn't left yet is because we were waiting on like paperwork, like like all the other people were involved were waiting for their paperwork for their community service or their fine or whatever whatever it was um and the dude event prosecutor comes outside eventually he's like come with me and he brings me in and the the judge goes did i didn't i tell you not to to have any communication with with him and i was like i what are you talking about i didn't he's like he's like he said that when when you walked that when he walked outside you called him a faggot i said no. And I told, I explained to the judge what, what happened. So, well, actually, I didn't get a chance at that moment. They put me in a holding cell for three fucking hours. For three fucking, I just won a, I just won a case. I just beat an assault charge. Now, they put, they're so mad about it. Not the judge, the prosecutor, and the police department in, the, in that city. They fucking hated me. So they create this fucking made up situation. I end up in this holding cell for three more fucking hours. I miss my interview. Um, I go up back up to the court and the judge was like, didn't I tell you? And I was like, yeah, I didn't. I, don't, I go, I don't even know why I'm back in here. I don't know what is going on. And he's like, he's like, what did what did you say to so and so outside? I was like, what? I didn't say a fucking word. I go, I have no clue why I'm why I just sat in a holding cell for three hours. I said, but what I do know is whatever it was, it's because he's I said, don't you think it's possible that he's just upset that he just lost a trial to an 18 year old kid and he couldn't take that. So he had to fucking make something up to make me have to suffer for three hours. And the judge goes, it, it's possible. I go, it's very possible. And that's exactly what the fuck just happened. I said, I did nothing. I didn't say a word to the fucking kid. I said, I just won this trial. Why would I do that? And the judge was like agreeing with right. me. The it judge was make sense, really. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, so the judge was agreeing with me and he was totally on my side. He was looking at the prosecutor like he was disgusted with them. So. 18 years old, I won that shit. And like, I'm making it sound a lot less than what it was because it was really like a, the trial lasted like over an hour. Like, I really, the, I, I really was questioning these motherfuckers. And I, isn't, uh, didn't you get up on the stand? And they, they well, no, um, I was gonna, so, oh, I did. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, because yes. you're like, I blacked out. I blacked, I blacked out. out. <laughs> so I there's blacked a part. Out. There's a part <laughs> in the movie um, anger, an management. anger management and um <laughs> at where Luis Guzman goes, I blacked out, I blacked out. 
And then when I came to, I was standing over him and it just, it's, I, it's crazy. I forget the whole like dialogue, but so I said that I was like, we had just watched that movie. And I was like, when I was on the stand, I was like, I was like, I don't know, man, I blacked out. And he's like, cause I had already said, like, I didn't do anything. I said, I was trying to break it up actually. I was like, and then I, I was like, I, and the, and then they started asking me, well, who did what? Because, oh, because because he had internal bleeding in his eye. Like I told y'all, his eye was fucked when I, I saw it. And um, after we beat his ass, too, he crashed his truck on the way home, probably because he couldn't see out of one of his eyes. But he had internal bleeding behind his one of his eyes. He had his his broken ribs uh bruises all over his back and spot he was he was fucked but um anyway yeah he he cra- i forgot about that he crashed his truck too um yeah cuz he had a broken orbital bone or something yeah 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 so the, they started asking me like so what like who did what cuz they were trying to get me to say like cuz they were like somebody kicked him right in the eye when he was on the ground who did that and i was like start i was like i don't know i don't they're like you were right there you didn't see i said that's when i was like i blacked out i blacked out because i'm not gonna tell you who did what like what the fuck so um i'm like i blacked out and then our uh, one of our brothers got up on the stand i called him to the stand <laughs> and i said you know i questioned him or whatever and and then when the prosecutor questioned him, he's like, so um, he said he blacked out. So so does that mean that that he may have blacked out and hit somebody? And and he goes, well, anything's possible. And he goes, excuse me, what was that? And the judge goes, he said anything's possible. Can we move on now? And that I think that's when the yes, that was the moment the judge was like, can we move on now? Clearly this kid is innocent. Da, 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 da. Um, so yeah. So, so then I ended up leaving there or whatever. And, and, and that was the first. So, so I actually represented myself five other times after that and won every single case. I haven't lost one. Um, but yeah, the rounds were fire. Oh, you missed them? Yeah, the rounds were fire, man. The rounds were dope as fuck. I believe they're like right around the the forty minute mark. It starts right around the forty minute mark. Um, Law and Order one hundred and one facts, yo facts. It was it was unbelievable. Like I'm probably downplaying it because um, it was it was unbelievable, especially only being eighteen years old. Uh, Pablo, you have any insight on that story? Because, like I said, I you mean, weren't involved. Yeah, just in this fight, kid was but... a fucking. He was a type of kid. So, to give you some backstory on this kid in general, he was the yeah. type of fucking cornball that just like I'm fucking crazy, bro. You don't even know me. I'm so crazy. He's like, I fucking put a dog in a headlock one time and fucking choked it. We out. We found so, out later yeah. after we stopped fucking with him that he had a swastika like burned on oh yeah, yeah. so so shit. listen to this listen to this. so one time he's like i grabbed the rabbit by the ears and smashed it against a pole and we're like okay why but yeah like you said so he gave himself like a swastika but this dumbass clearly did it in the mirror so it was backwards he gave himself a backwards swastika that's a fact and, uh, i remember i think it was uh you know, and for all the fucking douchebags, looked at it him. I'm like, oh, we really? That we no, found he's out. Like, oh, really? You put a fucking backward swastika on? And he's like, what are you, David? Because he tried to say, oh, no, these dudes held me down and carved it on me. And he goes, yeah, oh, yeah, who was that? David Letterman? Like the way he <laughs> said it was just so funny. Because, <laughs> it's like, really? These dudes are real skinheads, but they, they don't know. They put it backwards. Like, give me a fucking break, bro. Right. You're an idiot. You carved it on yourself and you fucking did it backwards because you did it in it the was mirror. Burned. Dumbass. It was burned on to Yeah, him. something like that. Yeah. Like, bro, Crazy. what a fucking doofus. So that's <laughs> just the type of retard he was. He was like always like, I'm crazy and I'm fucking. But he really yeah. was. He was just a fucking yeah, he was loser. A bitch. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah he, he got was... fucked up bad. He got fucked up bad. 
got his ass kicked so bad that driving away from the ass beating crashed his car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yep, and we were fuck. we were purposefully making sure like we didn't knock him out, so he felt every fucking bit of what we did because we we all had like I said we all had an issue with him. He he fucked with all of us. So yeah, so it's like if some people are like oh five on one, it's like well no fuck y'all. He, he fucking did he had. Everyone he instant he own knew, gripe with listen, him. So. Listen, and that and and he he rolled with us, so he knew how close we were. So he yeah. knew when some shit went down because he had been there where we had to defend him in fights. So yeah. and and we all come together and fight together, like so. But really, um, it's because so, so fucking... when he when he fucks with all of us, he should know that all of us are going to fuck you up. But also it's because the only reason we knew him is because like you said, he was dating <clears throat> this girl. Who friends, was like, yeah. Uh, she was a really good friend of mine at the time. Yeah. Her sister was dating my brother. So we well, like, it was even before that, that, that he came into the group. Well, yeah, it was like right around the same time, but either way, this, we only knew him because he was dating this girl. And then yeah, yeah. he fucking like threw her down a flight of stairs or something. So of course we're all gonna want to kick the shit out of you once you do some dumb shit like that. Once and then he called the cops on, a woman. on me. And then he and then he smashed the bottle in her face. And then he fucking shit Took in shit our friend's in car, girlfriend's like, car, our man, brother's like, girlfriend's car. At that car. point, what what are you expecting? Like, yeah. Crazy you're gonna shit. Get shit stomped, bro, in broad daylight in front of everyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, no I forgot to I forgot to, hold up. I forgot to mention that part. It was broad daylight on the on the main road, middle of the day on the main road uh where we lived like in the in the most busy part of that road like where like the McDonald's is and there was like a plaza, excuse me. Um uh, and like a bunch of shit right there and like so there was always people around, always cops around and we did it in broad daylight and we got the fuck out of there and nobody saw a damn thing <laughs> um, yeah, they, it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing you can't and, do and that no one that wind up getting in like any trouble for it either. no no every they they all had to pay like a 300 hundred dollar fine and do like ten, like i don't know how much community service but it wasn't that much and then but i, I remember they had just gotten the new jail cells and shit and they they came to my okay house. so okay they knew so all of you were gonna be there basically so so and what I, happened was they arrested um the other the other three and then they came oh no that was for the that was for the fat dan situation oh yeah yeah yeah. so, so check that's this a out. different fight yeah <laughs> this was a different brawl that ha it was a brawl there was like nine of us or something total not like us but total between both sides um but um we'll tell that story another day but wh what i will say is um what were you saying about that that made yeah, that just made that me... they came they like just came by the house i'm like all right let's go guys like fucking arrested like five people and brought them down okay to the okay jail cells that they had so so what happened was is they were opening the new jails on Monday. They were opening the new police station on Monday, right? And so they were still booking people into the old police station over the weekend. Well, I get arrested and two of my friends get arrested because they didn't arrest us all the same day. But they, but they got three of us in one day and it was on a Saturday or maybe a Sunday, I forget, but. So when they they arrested us, they bring us the, to the police station and they pull into the new police station and we get out and they're like, well, we weren't we were not opening till Monday. But since you got arrested this weekend, it's only fitting that you be the first one to enter these cells. And I was the first person to enter the cells in the, at the new police department. It's fucking insane and and oh my god and so check this out right one of the other kids that that got arrested with me he knew he had weed in his pocket and instead of leaving it at the house because he he was too afraid people were gonna like smoke it on him he took it with him uh hey dummy the cops are gonna take it like what the fuck right what the fuck <laughs>
Would you rather your friends smoke it or the cops smoke it? Like, what are you doing here? But yeah, that shit was hilarious. Uh, um, yeah, that's classic. a that's a story. That's a story for a different yeah, day, yeah. though. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> that yeah, that was a hell of a hell of a time. Karma is a bitch, man. Karma is a bitch. Um. So what else we got going on? I mean, did you want to spit something? I did, but, but. I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't really have time to like. Yeah, I started I writing. Good. I started writing a couple verses, and then um, what happened was I was also working on the verse for the Bone Collector um, yeah. beat, and then and then like I said, I just started you know my new job so my hours have been a little weird but um but now nah, i'll spit some i'll spit something next week for sure when we do this the the rumble stream i wanted to have something ready to spit today for episode 10 but it just unfortunately didn't work out that way um i mean let me see let me let me look at my phone let me see what I got. i'm sure i got something i can I can kick, kick real quick. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> Where is my phone? But uh, yeah, cause like, bro, even um, like there was some shit I took out <laughs> the De Niro rounds, like stuff that I felt like I could use for someone else, just like reword it a little bit, <clears throat> cause yeah. like he didn't even fucking show up, so I'm like, I'm not wasting that. Like, right. So right. I just tried to use like all the shit directed towards him, all the name flips and stuff. So. But uh, there was some other throwaways that were pretty fire. Like, um, there's like one part where, so the whole um, like hot. Uh, normally I wouldn't crack yo mama jokes, but we all want to know: Was yo yo really trying to smash your mama, bro? And it was like, yo, uh, growing up with a hot mom, something he had to deal with, and all the PTA dads trying to get some PT and A on the field trip. Yo, real <laughs> shit. I bet. Uh, I bet every time a friend would sleep over his house, she'd walk around with booty in booty shorts with her cheeks hanging out and would bend over to let him peek down her blouse. Yo, I bet <laughs> I bet she used to sleep with his teachers to keep him out of trouble. Fucking entendre, your mama could get it on the double. Double. Oh. No, I said yo, yo mama wanted to get it on with double. Oh my God, yo! Yeah. What I and remember then, uh, that because there that was a lot of, but there. I said double a lot of time because I had another thing that was like, yeah, uh, but still, that it was fine. like, yo, yo, I ain't trying to knock the hustle. Clearly, the fuck, bro's mom, you went through a lot of trouble, but when he pulled that stunt, we should have seen De Niro body double, like. Mm. But there was like, how many punches do am I gonna do with double? You know what I mean? So as many as you can. Then. No, yeah, that yo yo, that yo yo. I said yo yo, fire. mama wanted to yeah. get it on with double, and then it was okay. like, uh, yo, that's fire. Well, originally that's... I wrote it. It was something like, uh, yo, I'm not gonna press him on the double stuff or call him an Oreo, and I won't bring up his life story. But that's just because uh, it's like not because I have morals though. Just because that would be fucking boring though. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, but Facts. then it was like, uh, what the fuck, Bubba Gump gonna say when an uppercut bust his face and they got to pick the narrow off the ground? But it will not be his lucky day or something. Like, mm. but it's like I don't know. There was so many money flips that it's like. You know, it gets to a point where it's like, ah, oh, just use the best ones, I guess. I don't want to be like going overboard with every yeah. fucking money. Cause it, like, at some point, you know, it's like, uh, I had this whole theme where it's like, you know, like they say, like liquefying assets and shit. So I was going to say something like, uh, fuck, I, tonight I ain't going over heads. Tonight the writing is simplified. I'm solid, so minus the gas, De Niro get liquefied or something. You know, mm, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean. So yeah, I was saying, even the throwaways were like. Yeah, I even the throwaways were fire. Were fire. <laughs> so it's like, come on, <laughs> come on, bro. That first round was long. It was like longer. Than I thought. I thought you like we're gonna end it at one point. I was like, oh shit, no, nah, he still goes. Still. Oh yeah, round. yeah. First, I was gonna end it with the. Then arrow safety. through the wall like a safety yeah. deposit bar. That was the ending, but 
then yeah. I came up with some other fire that whole like Charles Whitman, how I tower over clock and hits like yeah, that was fire. And I was like fucking the M249 got a lot of kick, like the karate kid. The kid. All the witnesses are recoil at the site when I saw some shit. Yeah, that was uh, fire. And M249, they call a saw, you know, that's like the name of the guy, yeah. they call it a saw. But also, like, yeah, so you know, you saw they saw some shit, but I saw some shit. <laughs> right, right. Oh, fuck. Um, but speaking of ending, yeah, we're we're probably gonna end this shit here at eight o'clock, um, because it is episode ten, and we gave you the De Niro bars, and we gave you a great story, um, and also I gotta be up at two a.m., so we're gonna cut this episode short. Also, I just don't want it to to drag because i feel like we we it was such great content with with the story and with the the rounds that i don't want to you know get that yeah right with bullshit yeah yeah so, i'm fucking tired uh, too like i'm like you said you could tell i i don't feel great but. yeah yeah right and yeah, i, I and i felt bad to... even making him do this today but it's like we we haven't missed an episode yet and it was episode 10 yeah, so and like, like i said i'm a man of my fucking word and the whole right. point was bombing on him for like i don't give a fuck what you got going on i don't care how you feel like turn your fucking camera on and rap so if Back. i can do it when i'm not even under any obligation i could have done this whenever the fuck i wanted to yeah i could have said oh let's wait two weeks and you know like but i'm not like that and that's what I, the fuck. i'm saying like, if you really have how something I feel, going i don't on. care what's going on like i said okay i said monday so we're gonna fucking do monday like right and and it, you know if, if, he, if he really had something going on or if he really just wasn't prepared he should have said let's do it in a month instead of you know right right like he he could have picked so like he could have pushed it out a month if he wanted to but fuck him at least we got it out of the way and like i said a lot of music will be dropping this summer i promise y'all that i promise y'all that by right. august we will have a ton of shit out um so yeah man let me uh let me play a little something here and then we're gonna get up out of here pablo what song should i play of yours uh i don't care phone collector fire oh there was player. another part i didn't spit hold on this line oh, is hold fucking, on. this is fire hold on it's like uh good good and you could you can play the song after i get the plug so it's like uh yo go yep. listen to my song perfect the shit is crap first lion in the track i get de niro i'm a raging bull now this is fact so the irish kid is back i predicted i would win this match in the past like mystic Matt. even told them how and which rounds i would kick his ass so make sure this is getting taped the narrow getting ripped in half. Man, I should have just declined him in this match or done a one round or five minute time limit at max. Because the thought of having to listen to nine minutes of rap from a guy as rap as this is why I literally snapped. They should be, you should be picking up garbage on the highway since your lines littered with trash. So try flipping it back like a light switch in the pad, but the sky dimming the black. This will be your last night as a rhymer, bitch. Your final minutes of rap. Rap. Mm. Rap. You know? That was fine. But fire. he didn't, but he didn't rap. But it's okay. But he didn't rap. rap. His new but name is Dino Show. Dino, dude, that's Deno so Show. fucking fire. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> and then I saw it. Dino Show. Yeah. yeah. I came up with that, and then I saw Major had it Major. on his title too. I was like, "Yes, fucking right." Look, the no show, fucking right? The no show. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I mean, how's your name, De Niro, I, and you can't even show? Like, oh, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. Um. So yeah, man, I I got a verse for this that uh, I'm gonna record very very. Oh, soon. I forgot like the I line said, when I'm I said I'm not gonna press him on the double Sunday, stuff or so. call him an Oreo. Not gonna bring up his life story. Not because I have morals though, because just because that would be fucking boring. No, but it is double ironic. <laughs> Your name is De Niro though, being that you've never been paid for a show. 
Oh. Come mm. on, bro. Come on. We have. Fuck We've out been of paid here. for yeah, shows. We have. Yeah. <laughs> fucking cornball. Right. Body, dude. Even right. when I was sick, I still fucking right. bodied this fool. Fuck out of here. I don't ever want to hear this dude's name again. Right. <laughs> We was praying for better days. We was kids on the corner. Say you reap what you sow. I've been slowly investing. Weak and emotional, broken and stressing. Weak and I've moaned and been so introspective. I've grieved and atoned, had to go through redemption. Reach for the goal without knowing the lessons I needed in the most for I strolled through the entrance. Mean and verbose, grossly offensive. Preached on a post while holding resentment. I was fiend in a roach while I poked at my tendons. Seeing all the lows from the dope I injected. Leaving in the cold when I'm lonely and desperate I'm leaning on some shoulders grown to regret it being on the road so alone and dejected I cleaned and I rose to the smoke in the wreckage peaked and wallowed in the self-loathing depression screamed and yelled low with my own reflection if you read what I wrote and decode the message leave a piece of my soul to the folks in attendance or read them be told to this ghost in my presence achieving my goals with these bones I collected Praying for better days, anxious to get away. We was kids on the corner every morning making quarters of a lemonade. Hey. Oh, we was anxious to get away. Praying for better days, we was kids on the corner every morning making quarters of a lemonade. Hey. Yo, that's so fire, and I'm gonna kill this verse. Like, ew, I'm gonna tell you something, Pablo. With that verse and that beat and that hook, it it it, it sparked something in me because I'm like, like, I used to write like that, like that that the way that you wrote that verse, the 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 syllable patterns and shit. You know what I mean? I used to write like that a lot, and uh, right. I need to get back into that type of shit. So that's what I did with this verse. Um, and I basically kind of like copied yours, but but talked about way different shit. So me and Pablo do that a lot. We'll we'll go off each other's verses. Like I wrote a whole so <laughs> I wrote a whole verse once um to a song, and then Pablo literally wrote the exact same verse, same rhyme scheme saying the same exact thing i am but using different words but same right. rhyme scheme same overall message and what he was saying yeah like, same topic it. same rhyme scheme like my verse rhymed with your verse at line for line yep but mm -hmm. was it same and we're gonna and what we'll, that song's getting recorded this summer so we'll definitely be dropping that this summer too so y'all will get to hear that um so yeah, man, a lot of stuff coming, a lot of dope stuff coming. Um, but that's it, man. Unscripted logic. We will see y'all next Monday night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as usual. Um, episode 11, MME will be in the building. Shout out to him. Uh, we're going to have a dope, dope, dope conversation. So um, me, Pablo, you and I should uh, talk talk with him uh beforehand and, yeah and definitely figure out what you know um yeah, man, shout talk. out to hazy yeah. And, yeah 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 it'll be dope um but shout yeah. out to hazy and major and and whoever yeah. else was in the and and I didn't know really if anyone else oh yeah adept was in here yep shout out to Depp. Shout yeah they'll catch it they'll catch it on the playback it's fine yeah for sure i get it <sighs> i don't care um but yeah, man, so shout out to y'all, man, for real. Episode 10 of Unscripted Logic, Pablo Picasso versus The No Show just went down. <laughs> uh, and it was, I got to say, it was a body bag, man. Pa Picasso, like, like The No Show just, he really had nothing. Like, he really had nothing to say, you know? Yeah. Um, 
it was almost like you couldn't even hear him. Like he he just had nothing to say, bro. Yeah, he had no presence, bro. No, 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 no presence whatsoever. No presence. No presence. Um. Yeah, it was. It was weird. Um, he was mumbling, muttering, fumbling. Oh, that's another <laughs> bar. Hold on. So I I, I said, uh, yo, this fucking guy, uh, st stumble and fumble rhymer. To say you don't b bungle lines, you a jumble liar. Mm. Yo, that's Bar. fire, especially since he's from Louisiana. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> Yo, why did oh, you hold use on. that? Yo, I don't know, I just said it right now. But it goes, uh, there's another part. I was like, yo, uh, I came to regulate the narrow. I'm the allocator. I'm sure you feasted on Nolan's cuisine, but this will be the opposite order of a normal routine, because this time he getting eaten by the alligator. Mm. You know? Some shit like that. Hold, that's fine. Hold I up. had so good. I had so many bars that it's like, you know, I don't want to waste them all on someone who's not even fucking here. Like, hold up. <laughs> I'm looking at um, Crisis was live. I guess um, someone just yeah, sent covering me a their D money shit or something. Yeah, someone just sent me a screenshot of this. And well, because the Depp was it. live talking about D money and shit, so and Crisis was in the well, chat, so then I think he went live covering that live or something. I don't know. Yeah, because it's messages saying I'm trying to smack that dick all in them juicy ass. Yeah, lips. yeah, it's a D money apparently. But I guess saying, in the meantime, I can watch you play with that pussy until I see you. you're gonna Facetime me tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. well, that didn't D get my to that. To cheeks or something? I don't know. I don't oh, really yeah, care about okay. getting involved. Yeah, in that. What what it I was silly to that. see though is a bunch of people in the chat, like pretending like they've never done some shit like that or that they right, like I don't know, right, like they right. have game and shit, like, like it's just wild. To me. What, what's on, crazy man. to me is Cri Christ is showing that stuff. It's like motherfucker, you had a baby out of wedlock I, and it, your uh, wife was fucking another. Yeah, man. you're talking like, about someone you else talking about. Talking yeah, to another having an girl online girl. really, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even fuck her, like what, or maybe he did. You know, know, it is what that's why I wasn't like really bombing on D Money, but to me, it's like, I mean, I'm not I like, I'm not, give a fuck what I'm not trying do. to say like it, he's I don't not, give a fuck what they do in their personal, yeah. Life. I'm not trying they to say like it's not wrong, whatever. but like, I don't it's know, not my business. see a lot of people in the chat being like, he's a deviant, he's a fraud, and he's just like, I, I don't know. To me, that was a little wild. I was like, the way I look at it, come on, it's man. none of our fucking business. Well, know? that's the thing is because most of the people in the chat, like, they don't go lie, they don't do so. Them trying to cheat on their wife, which I'm sure they got some embarrassing ass fucking DMs out there, but uh, you know, they're nobodies, of so course. no one's gonna cover it if it happened to them. So they right. feel very comfortable bombing on someone else, but it's like, I don't know, man. To me, it's like, I, I don't know, like, I just feel like, like come on, man. It's like some of y'all pretending like, like y'all have game. I would love to see your messages hollering at a short, like. Again, I know he's married, right. so it's different. I'm not, I'm not like staking up for him. I'm just saying, like to me, the weirdest thing no. to me was to see Dankster was up there laughing and shit. And it's like I only know her because of D Money. I never heard it from her for a fucking hole in the wall from a can of paint. Same. Never heard of her. Same. The only reason I know her is because of D Money was pushing her. So for That's... her to be up there like laughing about it, like. I don't know, man. These people have no, like, I don't even want to say loyalty. So it's like, I guess, you know, owe someone. But, like, I, I don't know. They're just like. Yeah. That's why I just, didn't even give a fuck about it. Because I, I, I have no. Yeah. I mean, I could give a fuck I, less. I'm just saying. Like, it's just wild to me. The people that <laughs> they, they fucking, like you said, go along to get like, okay. So you, you use the money to help you like build up your name. But now the people are bombing on him about shit. You're on a live stream. Laughing right, a lot, right? Like, I, I don't know, man. To me, you'll you'll never That's catch me doing weird. that kind of shit. But yeah, me either. It is me what either. it is. But on the that people note, do what they're going to do. Yep, facts. But on that note, this has been the shortest <laughs> episode of Unscripted Logic. <laughs> uh, but but I think it, it it definitely was one of the best, if not the best, because we got. Uh, to tell an amazing story um, from the past and 
and I hope I did a good job telling it and gave enough detail. Um, but I didn't yeah, want to make it super it. long, so I kind of just cut it down. But and we got the fucking pop to see Picasso body De Niro finally. So yeah, I gotta rewatch this shit because I I don't know I, I don't know how I did, but no, you did fucking. Know. You, yo, you did fire. Yo, it was it was very close to the to the clip performance. I would say it was even like um, better, more energetic than the clip performance. Well, yeah, it's I I purpose so like I said, it was a different approach. Like with clip, I tried to be like layered with the writing and shit. I like this battle. I wasn't trying to be like super lyric, like uh, triple entendres and shit. I was like purposely you writing still, to, to be yeah, like man. set up punch like punch like every couple right. bars is a punch, punch. He and i wrote that. it specifically to be rapped like aggressively like as right. i was writing it i was writing it to say like do the wall like a safety deposit but like i wrote it on oh that that line that landed way. clean that line landed clean. yeah there was a couple parts that as i was performing i was like ah i didn't i know i didn't deliver that the way i wanted to but other parts, I was wow. like, "Yeah, that was that was cool." Well, yeah, it don't I, there was Either definitely way. a couple. There was a couple parts I seen where I'm like, "Oh, when he watches that back, he's gonna be like, oh, I could have done that better." But it yeah. still, it still looked good. Like it to me, it was it was fine. Like I don't, you know, and you you're always gonna be your own worst critic. You know what I mean? But yeah. it was it was absolute fire, and it would have been a thirty. And he knows yeah, that. Well, just, no, just to me, that. because I know the night of, or even like fucking Friday, with would have went down. Like I feel like it I, I knew been, it would have been. Better, I could have yeah. performed it better, and the especially feeding off his energy. Well, he doesn't have any, but just seeing his stupid. Face <laughs> yeah, but at least him, him being you're right, him being there, him yeah. trying to bring up my addiction shit like that would have pissed me off. So, and just having the three minutes in between to like catch my breath and shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Facts. But whatever, it is what it is. Still bodied this fool. <laughs> Facts. So next week, um, MME on Unscripted Logic episode eleven. Um, we're gonna keep this show pushing. Like I said, we're gonna start streaming on Rumble as well. There'll be a new Unscripted Logic channel on Rumble, not the Social Assassin Rumble channel. It'll be a completely different one. Unscripted Logic um and yeah we're, we're we're gonna start doing that and then eventually get the show on on spotify and and itunes um i'll have to remove all the copyrighted music and stuff before i do that but it's all good um let's see yeah, uh youtube makes it pretty easy for you to do that now like you, it's just basically clicking a few buttons and it removes the copyrighted shit for you um but all right man we're gonna get up out of here everybody have a great great week um we might go live on friday uh not sure yet but i actually have a, a show come i actually have a, so pablo and i are going to be doing a show like every other friday um but i'm also going to be bringing another show to this platform um that Pablo probably won't be a part of because he doesn't he can be if he wants to, but he probably won't be because he probably doesn't have the time anyway. But it, it he he doesn't um it, it's not something he's into anyway. So um I don't want to say what it is, but it's a great it's something I've been wanting to do and something I've been working on for a long time. Um I have a logo, I have a name, I like it's so um it's trademarked all that so your name is your name <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um so oh, it's gonna course. be it's gonna be a really dope show and a lot of dope stuff is coming to this platform so so there'll be three shows so it's gonna be kind of like uh uh you know it, sh it less it, like not just live streams it's going to be three shows unscripted logic will always be live um our other show will probably be live but this show is going to be pre-recorded um and you know probably done once a week so maybe twice a week depending on you know the situation 
Uh, but I will be releasing that information um, and announcing that soon once I have everything in order because I don't want I haven't started it yet because I want to make sure everything's perfect for when I do so I can get off to a good start and make sure there's no uh, fuck ups. You know what I'm saying? So but on that note, we are going to get up out of here. This has been Unscripted Logic, Episode 10. Pablo Picasso just bodied De Niro. Pablo, you got to no show. Say? Yeah, no, no just, show. Uh, I appreciate y'all. I, I hope you like it. You know, like I said, I, I did it for y'all, really. I mean, I I wanted to get the bars out, but it was more more for everyone else's enjoyment because I know they wanted to see it. So. Yep, exactly. So I hope you appreciate that. Even though I felt like shit, I still tried to turn up for y'all. Yeah, give you some content. Yeah. Yeah. On well, on that note, we're gonna get up out of here, Pablo. I'll talk to you tomorrow, my brother. Um, yeah, and right. salute to everyone in the chat. Salute to everybody that was in here. We about this bitch. Peace. Peace.